Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Limitless Lauren. So today I'm going to attempt to do a sewing project. And I've been wanting to do this project for a while now. I got this nice sewing machine from Costco like a couple months ago. Maybe not that long, but I bought it to do sewing projects and it's just been sitting in the corner of my house because it's intimidating and I've just been procrastinating doing a project. So I found one that's hopefully gonna be easy enough for me to do. This is my very first sewing project. I've sewn a couple of holes in my shirts and stuff like that, but nothing like sewing together an actual item from scratch. So today I'm gonna be making a DIY laptop envelope sleeve because I don't have any type of case for my laptop and my laptop is very new and fragile and I'm gonna be going on a couple of trips and I wanna be able to bring my laptop, but cases are pretty expensive. So I thought, why not just make my own? I already had some of the fabric and I'm going to be following a tutorial from a lady's website and her website's bybrittanygoldwin.com and she has a whole DIY envelope sleeve. So I'm gonna be following her thing step by step Sewing has its own lingo and it's kind of hard to follow because some of the words on her instructions, I don't know what they mean. For example, seam allowance, hem, all, there's so many different types of hems. So I had to look up all of the different words just to educate myself on the sewing lingo. And then the sewing machine is its own thing. And I read through the manual of the sewing machine, which <laughs> it's very confusing. It may seem easy, but once you get in front of it, it's kind of like, ah, what do I do? So for the fabric, uh, I actually went to Michael's and got this felt fabric for this project. I was gonna follow a different tutorial, but then I found Brittany's and I liked hers better. So her tutorial says to use a lining, what does she say? Yeah, a lining fabric and a cushion fabric. So I'm just gonna use two layers of the felt um, and then she uses a decorative fabric on the front, which hers is a skull as well, but I already had this fabric from another project and I had enough of all of it. So I cut all of these fabrics out last night just so I could be ahead of it because Liam is taking a nap and I wanna be able to get this done before he wakes up, hopefully. Uh, so I'm just kind of procrastinating, I'm rambling, I just need to get it started. <laughs> so let's see here. So I have the Brother sewing machine, and like I said, I got this from Costco, but it this is the little model here, and it's a computerized sewing machine, so it comes with a lot of different things. It has a little storage unit. It comes with a lot of different accessories, which, I wouldn't be able to tell you what they are. All kinds of different features on here, all kinds of different stitches. It's a really nice sewing machine. I already put the little thread spool up top. I bought a color that was similar to the project so it would blend together nicely. So I loaded up the thread on the top and loaded up the bobbin. And I just read the manual on how to do that, which there's other YouTube videos on how to show you how to do that because that in itself is <laughs> a whole tutorial. So for the measurements of the pieces, she says to measure the width and the length of your laptop. So mine is 12 by eight and a half. And then you wanna add an inch to each of those. So this small piece is 13 by nine and a half. And then for the big one, you do the, oh shoot. Uh oh. Okay, I'm realizing now that I didn't measure correctly. So that's not good. Oh no. I'm just gonna have to try and make this work. So I'm short an inch on my bigger pieces. Okay, so for the bigger pieces, I was supposed to measure the same as the small, but I add seven inches to the height. I was supposed to do 13 by 15 and a half but I did 12 by 15 and a half. So I'm gonna be off an inch. And it's to, the inch, the extra inch is to account for the seam allowance and some wiggle room. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. I don't have enough fabric. 
Okay, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later, I guess. Okay, so we're just gonna start with the smaller pieces because I did these correctly at least. So she says to put down the decorative fabric facing up and then to put the linings right on top. Sew a straight seam along the bottom using a five eight inch seam allowance. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, uh, so five eighths is right there. Okay. So one of the tutorials that I saw, it said, don't watch the needle. You need to watch where you're trying to measure up so, to get a straight line. So that is what I'm gonna try my best to do. Okay, the first part is done. I think I did pretty good. There was a little hiccup at one point that I had to pick it up and move it over, but it's pretty straight. Okay, so then it says flip the decorative pattern forward and then press the seam. And I don't have an iron to press the seam, so I'm gonna use my flat iron. Hopefully that will work. And then she says to repeat all of that for the bigger pieces. Okay, so I got the big piece done. So she trims down the batting, then folds over the decorative piece to create a clean edge on the top, and then sews it together, I guess. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that isn't even at all. So the next part is sewing the pouch. So I need to sew the bottom and then the two sides together. Stop it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even sew any of this. I don't think my laptop's gonna fit in here. Okay, now it says to flip it right side out. Well, it has a hole in it. Uh, okay, I gotta fix that. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay, this is coming apart now too. Oh my god. I'm just scared to even try it. <laughs> it's not gonna fit. Oh my gosh, it's not gonna fit. Okay, I'm still gonna finish it. So it says to trim into a V to make the flap. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Okay. Okay, so I'm done with it. Um, in the process of sewing the top, I broke the needle to the machine totally bent it and snapped it while I was sewing. So I learned how to replace the needle on my sewing machine. Oh my goodness, what else could go wrong? Okay, so the last finishing touch, I am going to add some Velcro, which she adds Velcro on there. Okay, it's not sticking. Stick, please. Use fabric glue. Okay, well, I don't have any fabric glue. Okay, I have this E6000 industrial strength adhesive. All right, let's try this. Okay, well, I'll let that dry a minute, but here is the bag. The supposed laptop case, which, again, <laughs> My laptop is way too big. It fits like this. Okay, well, 
that was a total fail. <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. It didn't fit my laptop. The needle broke on the machine. Yeah, I really don't know what else to say. <laughs> oh, this really sucks. I mean, it would make a cute little clutch for a bag, I guess. But I guess I should have known that it wasn't going to fit when I didn't even measure the fabric correctly from the beginning. That was my first <laughs> mistake. But we live and we learn. I'll just find another use for it because it is cute, but I'm just disappointed that it didn't turn out for the purpose that I made it for. Liam is surprisingly still sleeping. This is the longest he's slept in a long time, so at least that was good. Today's just not been my day. I've had other personal issues, and now with this and the needle breaking and all that, I just need to go relax and blow off some steam. So thank you for watching my epic fail of a laptop case, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video.